Well, my collection of interesting microchannel curiosities is pretty deep. I've got a lot of interesting stuff. And one of the things I have is an operating token ring network. See, you can oftentimes find a lot of very nice token ring gear for next to nothing because most people have Ethernet and don't know what to do with it. But a handy solution to this problem is the IBM 8229 LAN bridge, which you see right here. I have one in the configuration with a 10 megabit Ethernet card in the top and a token ring card in the bottom that goes to my 16 megabit ring. For my older machines, which only have 4 megabit cards in them, I have the feature of tonight's little video, an IBM PS2 Model 50 with two token ring cards in it, running the IBM token ring network bridge program, a lucky eBay find that I was pointed to uh, pointed to in some way. I don't remember how exactly for sure, but it happened to be new in the box, complete with all the licensing and supporting documentation. And I uh, placed a bid on it and got lucky. There are lots of ways to bridge between dissimilar types of networks, but nothing beats the uh, old-time charm of using an old computer, such as this PS2 Model 50, that otherwise might not receive a whole lot of use. And the IBM LAN bridge program does not require much in the way of hardware. It needs DOS 3.3 or higher and about 640 kilobytes of memory. Both things that this system has. Here's the inside. You can see here we have a relatively new clock battery. And then I have my two token ring network cards. They're the older long variety. The short ones are also supported. And as silly as this is going to sound, I use the long ones because, well, I think they look better inside the machine. I have the 30, uh, no, that's a 20 megabyte hard drive. And the reference disk, and I think the other one's a backup of the uh, bridge configuration file, you know, in case anything goes wrong. This machine doesn't need a lot of attention, though. It just sits and does its thing. I can't remember the last time I've had to touch it for any reason at all. All right, I've gone ahead and put it back together here. Now let's turn it on. It has one of the most interesting hard drives you'll ever hear. I don't know if you heard that at all. It actually squeaks when it seeks. It's very unique. There's our memory count up to a whopping megabyte. But hey, if it does the job... Booting up now. Token ring adapters are going to ring in here soon. Got my 8226 uh, MAU here. This is for the 4 megabit side. I have a North Hills LAT 3371 on the 16 megabit side. Yep, there's the adapter ringing in right now. doesn't look like it's gotten the other one yet. Sometimes it takes a little longer. But when this thing finishes booting up, you have two token ring networks that are perfectly connected to one another, and you can run just about any protocol you want to across them. Okay, what we've got here is an IBM PS2 model P70 that's actually hooked up to the uh, token ring network on the 4 megabit side. It has a special uh, token ring adapter in it with the token trace and performance ROM set on it and this is the IBM Token Trace and Performance Program. Just to show you that that 286 is not a bottleneck, I'm going to copy a very large file from my trusty Compaq LTE 5000, a laptop that I carried basically until March of 2005 when I bought my new machine. The copy should start any moment now, depending on how quick the old LTE is to get started. Sometimes it takes a bit. Here we go. You see that it's very capable of using quite a bit of an available bandwidth to move data. And that's going across 10 megabit Ethernet into a 16 megabit token ring and then it's going on over to the 4 megabit side of the token ring through this little old PS2 Model 50 here. There's the compact sitting on top of my uh, 
This is the real deal down here. This is the genuine Bermuda Model 77 Ultimedia PS2. But there you go, in case you were wondering. Something that you can do with an older computer if you have a token ring network and you want to connect two rings at different speeds and you have a copy of the IBM token ring network bridge program, your Model 50, your PS2 Model 50 would be the perfect machine to run it on. It's very reliable too. I actually got this machine, I found this in someone's basement and it is in just about perfect shape. And like I say, it just sits and runs. I don't hardly ever have to touch it unless there's been a power outage, in which case I make sure to come down here and turn it off.